this was about a, my a personal journey and, and the things that I've learned. And a lot of you listening to me right here, right now, you're not part of the club either. Ice Cube just dropped a bombshell, hinting at a storm brewing in celeb circles as Diddy gears up for a showdown amidst the recent raids at his mansions. With the feds on his tail, Diddy's reportedly drawing battle lines and word on the street is that none other than J-Lo could be caught in the crossfire. But it's not just conspiracy folks. Heavyweighters like Ice Cube also chime in in this recent drama. The rapper once made it crystal clear he's not part of the so-called club. Of the elites who are covering for each other, and now he's spilling the tea that tensions are skyrocketing and some of the members of the so-called industry elites are in danger. And some of you may not have realized that I'm not part of the club. Jennifer Lopez is now back in the spotlight. And guess what everyone's talking about? Well, it's her explosive love story with bad boy Diddy. The two had a brief romance, which lasted for a couple of years and which J-Lo later described as rather disruptive. He became kind of a mentor to me in that moment. We had this kind of crazy, tumultuous relationship that ended in a bang. The singer openly shared the details of her dating life with the music mogul, even stating that Diddy cheated on her. It was the first time she had experienced infidelity. And while these two went separate ways almost two decades ago, the drama recently escalated as the Department of Homeland Security swept down on Diddy's luxury pads in Los Angeles and Miami. Several law enforcement agencies are raiding the home of hip hop mogul P. Diddy. And tonight we are learning it may be tied to alarming allegations. With allegations of essay and other misconduct piling up against the music mogul, this raid might just be the tip of the iceberg. The on, again, off again. Saga of Diddy and J-Lo has been the talk of the town ever since, hinting at secrets too juicy to ignore. With the investigation in full speed, it seems like Diddy's empire is collapsing and he may be plotting something against his old allies just to clean his old allies, just to clean his old mess. As insiders suggest, J-Lo is allegedly the first to be hurt in the process of this cleansing. Whispers of more arrests and investigations add fuel to the firestorm as the feds are looking for connections and clues that may shake the entertainment world. Now, it's all tied to the latest lawsuit filed against the music mogul by producer Rodney Jones. And apparently, J. Lo name was added to the list. But it does seem she knows something, and I'm curious how much. Updated Jones's lawsuit mentions J. Lo, who dated Combs for two years until 2001. It references the 1999 incident in which the couple were arrested after leaving a New York nightclub following a shooting. Apparently, Diddy was guilty after all, as he proudly boasted to Jones. As a result of that night, Jennifer's charges were immediately dropped, and Combs was acquitted of charges relating to the incident, but his mentee, rapper Shine, was convicted. Jones's lawsuit claims that Combs confessed to him that he was responsible for the shooting and alleges his then-girlfriend, J. Lo, had carried the gun he used into the club that night for him. The jury now appears to be focusing on the gun possession and bribery charges against Sean Diddy, his bodyguard Anthony Jones, and Shine endured a seven-week trial which ended with Diddy and Jones walking free and Shine being convicted on the attack and gun possession and sentenced to 10 years in prison. However, as Lil Rod alleged in his suit that Diddy was often bragging about bribing witnesses and jurors in the criminal case concerning the 1999 Nicey Nightclub shooting with Shine, this isn't the first time Diddy's found himself on shaky ground. But his defense team stands firm, claiming these statements are all false and are about destroying the music mogul's legacy and sucking quick cash from him. Let me be absolutely clear, I did not do any of the awful things being alleged. I will fight for my name, my family, and for the truth. Sean Diddy Combs. According to witnesses, the atmosphere at Bad Boy Records has always been full of intimidation while Diddy made everything possible to maintain a glossy exterior. The allegations of Diddy's temper, extending to frequent physical confrontations, show him as a man whose arrogance knew no bounds. As Lil Rod claimed in his lawsuit, he basically used people for his entertainment. He also alleged that Diddy bragged about using his 10 girlfriend, J Lo, to smuggle the gun into the club. He shared that artist and Mr. Combs' girlfriend at the time, Jennifer Lopez, Ake J. Lo carried the gun to the club for him and passed him the gun after he got into an altercation with another individual. Amidst this epic fall from grace of a music mogul, it's clear that feds will be looking into his past and apparently more hideous crimes are about to be uncovered. And as insiders whisper, Diddy is not letting this resurface stories destroy his legacy and he'll be fighting until all the witnesses of his crimes are eliminated. All them nets. You know, they, they can't really touch me, y'all. Jado didn't even expect that these ghosts of the past will create a potential danger for her life. And it's not just fellow celebs who feel for this girl. Fans also saying that Diddy messed up with her head and life as he did with Cassie and all other women he'd been with. As one person commented, I feel so sorry for all the women that been mistreated by Puff Combs. And another user added, why has it taken this long for all of these people to come forward? 
he could have been stopped a long time ago. Diddy's history of violence doesn't begin and end with J-Lo. The man has been spreading terror in the music world for several decades, and no one ever came forward to stop him or even try to expose him. It only speaks about his ability to scare people so much that they wouldn't even try to say a single word against him. I have my marching orders. I know what to do with that. But amongst the intimidated and silenced, there have always been bold and courageous music veterans who freely spoke against Diddy and tried to expose his shady side. One of them is Ice Cube, who never was too shy to say uncomfortable things, even though his words could possibly endanger him. The wild celebrity lifestyle, the one that Diddy's been living, has never been appealing to Ice Cube. Once he stated, I've been in the game since I was 15 years. Old, I've been doing good music, good movies, and now I'm doing good basketball. All those things excite me more than hanging out, popping bottles, talking stuff, and wasting time, you know? But with Ice Cube's attention on the industry lifestyle and secrets, he's clearly excited to talk about the crazy stuff he's been witnessing, and his comments are always to the point. When anybody's watching, now they shut up because they say, if it can happen to this guy, it can happen to me. Claims of essay, threats, and physical harm. This has been Diddy's life in the past few decades, but as the dark clouds of exposure are looming over his head, more of his sick crimes are coming to see the light. This infamous 1999 shooting featuring J. Lo is going to be reinvestigated. The woman, Natanya Rubin, injured in that incident, has long insisted that Combs shot her in the face. Her testimony, alongside medical professionals and suppressed evidence, aims a spotlight at a narrative Diddy has long sought to bury, his direct involvement in this shooting. He could be facing a new set of legal woes after Homeland Security raided his homes, but some insiders say he has fled the country. We see news capturing Combs's Love Air Jet in Antigua. No information about who, if anyone, was on the plane. The raids on the estates of the music mogul have sent shockwaves through the music industry and beyond, casting a cloud of speculation over the hip-hop titan and his involvement in high-profile federal crimes. While the nature of the search remains shrouded in mystery, the question of Diddy's future charges looms large, but some tracking his private jet claimed it landed on the Caribbean island of Antigua. Aaron Dyer, the legal representative for Combs, stands firm in his client's innocence, blasting the federal probe as a baseless witch hunt fueled by unfounded allegations. There has been no finding of criminal or civil liability with any of these allegations. Mr. Combs is innocent and will continue to fight every single day to clear his name. However, federal agents left the house loaded with boxes of evidence. And as it said, they did find firearms on Diddy's properties in law in Miami. Criminal indictment. They had to show that they had probable cause to believe a crime was committed and that there would be evidence of the crime inside. As insiders claim, these raids are nothing else but a telltale sign of a serious trafficking probe, potentially paving the way for criminal charges against Comms. The spotlight on Diddy and his empire intensifies and it may just happen that many celebs will brought into questioning. One thing that fans are sure of, the music mogul will not get away this time. As one person commented, Diddy got too much blood on his hands and dragged a lot of men along the way and more of them will be coming out. And another user added, at this point, anyone who ever had any connections with Diddy in the past 20 years or around 20 years or around 20 years should be raided also. Raid Jennifer Lopez next. It seems like Diddy is actually one step away from being jailed for real this time. And no wonder he's thinking of getting rid of exposing evidence. But folks, what do you think about all this? Will Diddy attempt to do his menacing cleansing one more time to get rid of all witnesses? And is J-Lo actually in danger? Drop your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to check my other videos. 